Well, things are looking awful nice outside right now. Skies are bright. Temperatures are warm, not terribly humid. Dew points are in the low 60s. 86 right now. This after high of 87 this afternoon. You see what happens when the sun returns. Just looking back over the last week, we've had some warm days. Mild day on Friday. Guess what was going on then? Had a lot of clouds. Yesterday had a lot of clouds, a high of only 80. Today, though, with that sunshine back, we had a high of 87. And we're going to find more sun and hotter temperatures in the days to come. Uh, it is a quiet pattern across here. We just bubbled up a few clouds this afternoon. Those are going to fade quickly as the sun uh, sets this evening. Uh, looking at uh, the pattern, what we've got for tonight is uh, we've got some humidity to the west and we've got some drier air to the east. And that dry air is going to be building in overnight tonight and into tomorrow. So humidity levels uh, look pretty comfortable, I think, for Wednesday, even though it will be warm. Also, the lower humidity moving in from the east will make for a comfy, cool start to the day uh, to our east. Uh, you can see morning lows maybe around 59 in Mountain Grove, 60 in Fort Leonard Wood. Here in Springfield, expecting a low of about 63 tonight, 67 in Joplin, where it is going to be more humid. Afternoon temperatures tomorrow are going to be warm, probably a degree or so warmer than they were today. Looks like uh, highs up around 90 degrees along I-49, 88 here in Springfield, and then off to the east. We'll likely have highs in the mid 80s in places like Mountain Grove east over toward Winona and Alton. Winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And this warmth is just getting started. We've got this trough in the west and ahead of it, we've got this area of high pressure in the atmosphere, which is going to be nosing northeast across the region. That'll help to keep the pattern quiet. It will also come with hotter air, which will lead to hotter temperatures. Uh, looks like we're going to have highs in the low 90s both Thursday and Friday. So how does that stack up against record highs? Well, you can see for tomorrow we're well off the record high of 95. But on Thursday we're getting closer. Uh, the high that day looks to be around 91. The record is 96 here in Springfield. Then on Friday looks like a high of about 93. Only four degrees off the record high of 97 degrees set back in 1954. So while it is, uh, uh, you know, we, we get highs in the 90s this time of the year, it's, it's not necessarily common. Uh, as we uh, look ahead through this upcoming weekend, that trough in the west is going to start making some inroads into the middle of the country, and ahead of it, it will push a cold front. And it looks like we're going to see some wet weather ingredients coming together, even though the front won't move through until I think probably after the weekend or just at the tail end of the weekend, there's going to be wet weather ingredients in place ahead of that front uh, starting as early as Friday, but especially on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, that means that we have some rain opportunities. This is great news given how dry it's gotten, especially over western Missouri and northwest Arkansas. And I think the heavier rains this weekend will tend to be towards central Missouri and north, but we should have some chances for some measurable rainfall further south as well. Of course, that may impact cider days this weekend. Uh, looks like a hot and mostly quiet day on Friday, humid too, but Saturday and Sunday, I think we're going to have shower and thunderstorm chances with temperatures in the 80s for highs and lows in the morning in the upper 60s. Once we get past the weekend, that fall feel returning. Looks like highs falling back into the 70s by Tuesday of next week. Guys? All right. Thank you, Jamie.